Hello, I'm Rudy Severins, and welcome to my office. Uh, I'm writing a book on the design of snubber circuits for power electronics. Uh, in fact, the book's title will be Snubber Circuits for Power Electronics. And uh, what I'd like to do now is to share with you uh, the contents of one of the chapters so that you can get a really good feeling for what this book is all about. Now, one of the most common types of snubber circuits that's used is a simple R series resistor capacitor damping network. And the reason it's so popular is the fact that any practical switching network, power converter, motor driver, whatever piece of power electronic equipment you have, in addition to the desired components, resistors and capacitors and switches and things of this nature, will also, because of its physical size, have lots of parasitic inductances and capacitances. So that when you have a rapid switching transition, you invariably, in a bare circuit, okay, will get a lot of noise and ringing on the waveforms. And it's usually high frequency ringing, sometimes up in a range of 10 to even 50 megahertz. Very, very common to see all this noise and garbage on the waveforms. Well, the RC damping network is a primary tool to eliminate or greatly reduce all of this type of ringing. And it deserves a chapter all on its own. It turns out that there's two subjects you have to treat. First of all, you have to look at what is the source of the ringing. Why is it occurring? So you've got to go ahead and model the circuit and put the parasitics in and explain, hey, this is why you've got this noise and ringing. And then you have to, to demonstrate what's the effect of adding RC damping networks at various points in the network. Because what you'll discover is, is that normally you have multiple parasitic inductances and multiple parasitic capacitances and it's ringing in multiple different ways. All right? so. The purpose of this chapter is to clearly point all that out to show you where you can put the damping networks in and what effect they'll have. And finally, of course, is to actually design the RC damping network and to recognize that RC damping networks, okay, there's always an optimum value of resistance to give you the most damping. Make it too large or too small, your damping is not as effective for a given size of series capacitor. So the RC damping network is very, very popular and needed. In fact, even when we go to dissipative snubbers um, with using diodes, or we go to energy recovery snubbers, even those circuits, they will require the use of these RC damping networks. This is a very important chapter.